Hello everyone, mabuhay! Habirism to Buka again here. And together with me is I'm Jabirism Jr. Hi. Okay, today we are going to continue our episode, our lesson in translating Tagalog words or Filipino words into English and Bahasa Malaysia. And today is one of the important things that we need to touch about Filipino because it's a little bit different than the others. We learn about our abacada, and then the next one is our counting numbers. But it's totally different when we are talking about time or telling the time. What time is it? It's quite different in the sense that we are not actually telling you the numbers or the time is isa or dalawa. It's not because. The reason being is that we are actually telling about the time using a Spanish word. Can you believe it? Yeah. Because reason being, during the time when the Spaniards came and conquered the Philippines, and then they are teaching us all of this Spanish. In, in, in fact, during my early days, I mean in school back in the Philippines, we learned Spanish. And we have the syllabus in Spanish from grade one into college. And if I remember well, we are the last one who have subject in Spanish before the evolution of uh, computers. We are talking about time, days, and months. So this is a very quick one. And we are going to have the next episode to have the basic conversation in Filipino, English, and Bahasa Layo. Malaysia, or Bahasa Malayo. Okay, let's go straight to the board. I'm Jabarism Jr. Yeah. Let's ball in. All right, everyone, let's jump in straight into our episode three, which is the time, days, and a month. So we're translating into Filipino, and Bahasa Malaysia, which is base, our basis, as usual, is in English. So, jumping straight, when we have to count on or read in this one, probably you will be noticing that these words are in Spanish. So, let's read it. I'm Jabarism Jr. One. Uno. Two. Dos. Three. Tres. Four. Cuatro. Five. Cinco. Six. Seis. Seven. Siete. Eight. Ocho. Nine. Nueve. Ten. Diez. Eleven. Once. Twelve. Doce. Right. We only count until twelve because the, the clock is only... We twelve. only counting in twelve uh, hours in a day. We can count it out. Thirteen is trece. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So you always be hearing that 24 hours or 24 hours. Right, so we're only using this, I'm Jabarism Jr. So let's go straight to the numbers. Like I said, we are not saying Filipino time like isa or dalawa. So instead, we are saying like this, right? And this is again at the consonant and vowels, even though it's in Spanish. All right. So that is the clock. So if I will say one o'clock, what shall I do? A la una. Meaning, una is one, actually, the first one. A la una. So if you can see here, if I will say two o'clock is a, a las dos. All right. So it's dos. This is uh, uno, which is una. Sometimes in Spanish they are using from, let's say, but this is numbers. Just for your info, is uh, in Spanish sometimes if you say, let's say, cousins or primo or prima. Primo is for for male and prima is for female. Right. So it's always the same thing. All right, again, if I say 
3 o'clock. Alas 3. If I say 4 o'clock now, I'm Javarisan Junior. Alas 4. If I say it's already 5 o'clock, let's go out. Alas 5. Right. 6 o'clock. Alas 6. 6. Alas 6. So 6 o'clock. Right. Now, there's a few things. This is a very quick one. Because we will be using this later, probably when we have a conversation in Filipino, and then we are asking about time, they will not be telling you uh, isa, dalawa, tatlo, or apat. They will be telling you about the Spanish numbers. translation or numbers. All right. So what shall we say if we have this? It's already 7.30. Alas, siete, why media? No. The pronunciation in this one is that Alas siete e media. E is actually N in English or in Bahasa Malaysia, done. So media is half. E media. E media. So meaning seven and a half in a direct translation. Right. So that is where we are. It's, it's very, uh, I mean, it's very interesting because we are mixing up with uh, Tagalog and Spanish. And I think I have already mentioned in my previous episode that we are mixing up with Spanish words in the Filipino dialect. Right. Just go straight to the months. Okay. So this is Filipino and this is Bahasa Malaysia. So we will have a quick run through with Amjaburism Junior about it. So I will say the Filipino month and Anjabirism Junior will go through the Bahasa Malaysia. All right, okay. If I say in January, I have Enero. January. Febrero. February. Marzo. March. April. April. Mayo. May. Junio. June. Julio. July. Agosto. August. September. September. October. October. November. November. December. 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 So, the wordings or the some of it, the pronunciations or the spellings a little bit different, but uh, uh, I mean there's similarity in the sound. Okay. So that is where we are on the month. No, we quickly. Go to the days. So this is uh, the uh, seven days, on Monday until Sunday. So again, I will be going through the Filipino uh, translation, and Amjaburism Junior will be going through the Bahasa Malaysia. All right. In Monday, we call it Lunes. In Bahasa Melayu or Malaysia, it's called Isnin. Martes. Selasa. Miyerkules. Rabu. Huebes. Kames. Biernes. Jumaat. Sabado. Sabtu. Linggo. Ahad. Right. So, these are the words that we are going to use later when we are asking about time, month, and the days of the week. So, this is all again for this video. This is a quick one because it's we are going to have that basic conversation later, like we have mentioned in our previous uh, videos. Yeah. Right? So, thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and don't forget to go back to first and second episode if you are not yet familiar with all those uh, wordings, numbers and a little bit of reading. So, you will be left out on the next episode okay all right so this is all for now thank you again for watching and see you again later bye bye a stool